Hey guys, James here with TCG University, coming back at you with a, another deck profile, continuing our Yu Yu Hakusho fanboy deck series. Uh, today we're going to be doing Yusuke. Yusuke is the last character in this set of characters uh, that I built for this series. So uh, let's get into it. Yusuke is a 722 with death, good, and life. We built our deck under death th for this one. He has two abilities. E, once per turn, the next card you attempt to play this turn gets negative one difficulty or negative one to its block modifier for each resource symbol it shares with your character. And then E, remove one card from your discard pile with the word spirit in its name. This attack gets plus two or minus two damage. Uh, so all of his attacks have spirit in the word. And we're playing, um, where is it? Spirit Detective, Guardian of the Spirit Sword. We're playing a, we're playing a couple extra spirits, but uh, let's get into it. Uh, Spirit Detective, we're playing four of it. It's a three, five with no block. R, remove, remove one card in your discard pile with the word spear in his name. After your opponent plays an enhanced ability printed on an attack card, cancel it. You get to cancel cool abilities. Nuff said. And then its other abilities are commit after the second copy of this attack of an attack is played this turn, seal it. So if your opponent like doubles down, I have two missile launchers. Hey, missile launcher, missile launcher. On the missile, second missile launcher, commit, seal it. Just nice and simple. Uh, then we're playing four Guardian of the Spare Sword. Uh, this is a once per turn. This attack gets minus two speed. If it's a weapon attack, it's minus three speed instead. And then E flip, discard one card, add one asset card from your discard pile to your hand. The two assets we play are Anodite Replica. It's a two five with a three mid block. Has Breaker three, unique weapon, arc commit after an attack's played. Uh, it gets plus, plus one or minus two to its multiple rating. Deadlocky, your attack is plus two speed, plus two damage. Very strong at deadlock, mediocre depending on how what you're playing against. It's very good for the breaker three you get to add to hand. It shares no only one symbol, so it's basically a two mid block. That's fine with Yusuke. So we give it a two mid block. You block with it, give breaker three. It's just nuts. Just getting to pick it up with the spirit sword. Just nuts. And then the other target is Swordfish 2. It's a three, four, the three mid block, tech unique. E, add this card to your momentum, add the attack to its owner's momentum. So you basically like negate one free attack. So you can pick things up to have it for later with like Swordfish. Or you can just have a cool Breaker 3 every turn when you use Spirit Sword. Just nuts. On to the other foundations we're playing. Four Friends and Rivals. Uh, it's a Ally R car commit. After you play an attack that shares at least two resource symbols with your character, your opponent commits two foundations. It's basically a cool stun too. Uh, four Genkai's training. E commit if you attempt to block this attack with a card that shares at least two resource symbols with your character, your block modifier becomes zero. So if you block with anything that has shares at least two, you make the block modifier zero. It's really nuts. E discard momentum, ready this foundation, playable while committed. Really good. It's a spam. Has no block, but we use it to block better anyway, so who cares? Uh, Kiko's, Kiko's aid, it's a two five with a three high block. R flip after you block an attack, your opponent's next attack gets plus two difficulty, so you punish your opponent for not being able to get attacks through. It's very strong. We play four Kieran Soul. It is an E flip for negative one speed, basically, that says if we block, the attack deals no damage. Four Wishing Ward, it's a mill three to control our opponent's momentum. Three Teleconnect Mastery. Uh, if our opponent likes to speed buff or speed buff or damage buff, we get to speed. Speed or damage debuff. It's really nice. Keep our opponent in check. Uh, four new efforts in Nether Realm. It's just a pay three to draw a card. It's a really good spam with a three eye block. Two most trusted. It's a nice spam that lets us look at our opponent's hand at the, as a first form, as well as nagging checks. It's really good. And then one blood for blood. I really enjoy this card in de any of the, the three symbols I can play it. I think if you can, you should play it as one of. It guarantees some damage at late game when you really just need to push through one or two real damage. Because uh, of its ability of lose two vitality, if your attack is blocked, your opponent loses two vitality. It makes it to where your opponent isn't always just allowed to just block everything. They have to find a unique way of dealing with things. Uh, we're playing three actions, which are bang, seal our opponent's character, nice and simple. Uh, On to the attacks. The odd attack we're playing that's not one of his is Hyper Bomb. It's a stun two, three low for five, two high block. If it's not blocked, you get to draw a card. If your opponent has more vitality than you, you get to blow something up. It's pretty cool. It's just a good leadoff attack, whatnot. 
onto his attacks. We're playing four spirit shotgun. It's a five three four mid for seven with a two high block. Barrier with breaker one in ranged. E this attack is plus one damage for each resource symbol in your card pool that matches a resource symbol with your character. So the more cards that you play that match your character symbols, the better. Uh, so hyper bomb doesn't really support this, but everything else of his is obviously all all his. So like matches three. So if this is the fourth card in your card pool, it's getting a free plus twelve damage. Just nuts. Uh, it's very very strong. And if your opponent can't deal with it, they can't deal with it. And then it has two other abilities. If it's completely blocked, it still deals half. So the more damage you can put on this thing, the better. And then Deadlock E, destroy three of your opponent's foundations, which is also just very nuts. Uh, onto his foundation, his other attack, Spirit Gun. It's a 5-3, five, 5 mid for 6, 2 mid block. Yusuke, you can change the zone to higher low, which is nuts. It's ranged and safe. And then the other ability, which is the very strong ability, E, destroy one of your opponent's foundations. You get to choose. You get to get rid of the problem card that you're going up against. You don't like them having a uh, Kiko's aid? Pop it. You don't like them having their own Telekinetic Mastery? Pop it. A Kieran so Pop it. Just get, just bang that thing. Just boom. Click your fingers. Just get out of there. Uh, but uh, just having the ability to get rid of problem cards as like a, just an, during an attack as an instant ability is just nuts. Uh, we're playing four spirit charge punch, charge punch reversal, four mid for four. Uh, it's a one one mid block. Uh, the next attack played this turn gets plus three or minus three damage. So you get to uh, neg damage or give plus damage. It's really nuts. Uh, four spirit charge kick, charge EX3 kick, four high for six, zero low f block. It's just nuts. Your next attack this turn gets plus one damage for each resource symbol it shares with your character. That's also very nuts. So like this into this makes this a 10 damage attack. Plus another six is just 16 on its own. It's just really, really good. And then E, your attack, your next attack this turn gets negative one difficulty. Meaning this card just basically didn't attack, count towards progressive. If it was the first one, just nuts. So yeah, guys, that was the Yusuke profile. Uh, I, I'm kind of thinking of Yusuke more as like the... Spike one, if you're newer to this, to the game, um, Spike one was a very just solid, good UFS deck. It played very good, solid UFS or universes at this point. Fundamentals. It played, it played its cards very well. It didn't excel at doing one or too many things, but it didn't really not excel at doing any of those things either. It just played so well that it outplayed its opponent. So yeah, guys, if you enjoyed the content, make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Check out our other content. Uh, if you want to support us, go to patreon.com slash TCG University. And as always, stay learned.